The Eclipse is definitely going to be a phenomenon, but as a pilot, you need to know about some safety issues surrounding the Eclipse. On April 8th, 2024, we will have another total solar eclipse, and it's going to be cool. The last time it happened in 2017, it was a huge event. It was the event of the decade, and pilots had some of the best seats in the house. So if you had an airplane, you could get to the best spots on Earth to experience night in the middle of the day. If you're planning on flying or being at an airport in the path of the eclipse, there's some things that you need to know. We'll use this as, as a reference here. AOPA created a layer that you can import into ForeFlight so we can see where the eclipse is going to be in ForeFlight. So we'll use that throughout this video. AOPA has instructions on how to install the layer into ForeFlight. You can get on the web, their webpage. I'll put a link in the description. Here in the U.S., the eclipse will start in Texas, go up to the Midwest, through New York, and exit the U.S. through Maine. There will be so many people, not just pilots, trying to get a view of the eclipse that things are going to be pretty busy. Not only will there be an increase of GA airplanes in the sky, Commercial operators are also making this eclipse an event. Experience a total solar eclipse from the sky. Delta has you covered. The airline is offering a special flight. So as pilots, what do we need to know? The FAA has provided guidance around operations during the eclipse. There are hundreds of airports in the path of this eclipse. During the eclipse of 2017, there was a huge uptick in the number of airplanes that went to some of the smaller GA airports just so they could get a good view of the eclipse. So we should expect that this time as well. If you are planning on flying into one of those smaller GA airports, contact the FBO of the airport to make sure that they have room for you and there are any special procedures about the Eclipse for their airport. It may not be as busy as the Fisk arrival at Air Venture. Be on the lookout for other airplanes and play nice in the sky. If you like this kind of content, I would love it if you'd like and subscribe. Appreciate it. You need to check the NOTAMs. There will likely be lots of NOTAMs that you need to review before you go on your trip. And while traffic around these GA airports may increase, some airports are probably going to restrict training operations. If you file IFR, you could expect some delays in getting your clearance. The FAA also has provided guidance that practice instrument approaches may be limited as well. With the airspace potentially being more congested, be on your radio game and make those traffic calls that you need to make. The FAA also reports that VFR radar advisory services or flight following may not be available during the eclipse, around the path of the eclipse. And while we're on the topic of air traffic control, I'd be extra nice to ATC during the eclipse. They're going to have their hands full. It's not just us pilots that want to see the eclipse. There are a lot of people planning on being in the path and taking a look. We care about that as pilots because there will be a large increase in parachute operations. danger that we might encounter are the balloon hobbyists. These are the folks that strap a GoPro onto a weather balloon and send it up in space and then go retrieve the GoPro later. There likely will be a lot of that happening. Now, some of the best views can be from an airplane. Look at some of these images. But there are some safety concerns about viewing the eclipse. Don't stare at the eclipse while it's happening. To view an eclipse safely, you do need to wear eclipse-approved glasses. These are much, much darker than any sunglasses that we typically wear. You can get those from a variety of sources. Now, wearing regular sunglasses won't do the trick. That won't protect your eyes. Scientists say if you look at the eclipse while it's happening, you could permanently damage your eyes, and we certainly don't want that. The only time it's safe to look at an eclipse is during totality, and that is when the moon has completely covered the sun. There will likely be the diamond ring effect that you see in so many photos, Wildlife sometimes behave differently during the eclipse, so be on the lookout for that. Speaking of wildlife, I did a video about bird strike avoidance. You can watch it here. Safe flying, everyone.